Hi everybody. Before us, we have a very interesting projectile problem. We have a Johnny here. He runs. He starts from rest at a certain point and runs such that his acceleration as a function of time is given by 3t and he runs a lap of 4.5 meters before jumping off a cliff so the fundamental question is what is the distance that he has to jump R so as to avoid this rocky, dangerous portion. So we have a lake. This is our lake. And he wants to jump inside the lake, but he must attain a certain initial horizontal velocity so that he can avoid this rocky portion. So we need to calculate that distance r from the foot of the cliff to the point in the lake where he touched down on the water. So how are we going to approach this? So we need to calculate his initial velocity at this point. I'm just going to call this v naught. Remember, ironically, V naught, even though it's V naught, let's, let's just call this V, is his initial velocity in the X direction. And he starts here with an initial velocity V naught, which is equal to zero meters per second. Now, look at it, the acceleration is changing, so we cannot use the kinematics equations of motion. Remember, we can only use the kinematics equations of motion provided the acceleration is a number, is a constant. But since the acceleration is changing, we cannot use the kinematics equation of motions in this case. What do we know? We know that generally A is equal to dV over dt. This would mean that dV is equal to A dt. So if we integrate both sides from V initial to V, then we could also do this from zero to T. Now I could put, put here T prime. This is the same as the integral from zero to T, A T prime D T prime, where T prime is just a dummy variable. And the reason I have used t prime here is simply because we have another t here that represents the particular time, point in time. This t prime here is just a variable. That t is a function of t prime. So um, this would mean that v minus v naught will be equal to the integral from 0 to t, 3 t prime d t prime which will be equal to 3 over 2 t prime squared from 0 to t and this is just going to be equal to 3 over 2 t squared but because the object initially starts from rest this is 0 so we can clearly see that v is equal to 3 over 2 t squared. But the question is, what is t? We know this distance from here to here is 4.5. We're assuming that our origin is right here. So similarly, v is equal to dx all divided by dt which implies that dx is equal to v t prime dt prime. So if we integrate from both sides, from x naught to x, integrate from 0 to t, what we are going to be left with is delta x, which is just x naught, sorry, x, 
minus 0 equal to the integral from 0 to t of 2, 3 over 2 t prime squared dt prime. So if we integrate that equation, x will be equal to 3 over 2, 1 over 3, t prime cube from 0 to t. This is going to be equal to half t cube. So x, the distance from here to here, x will be equal to one half t cube. But what is that x? x is 4.5. So this means that 4.5 is equal to one half t cube. In other words, t cube is equal to nine, which means that t is equal to three seconds. So the time it takes for John to run from the initial point to the edge of the cliff is just three seconds. Given that we know that the time is three seconds, we can plug that time on there to calculate the initial velocity V. So that means that V is equal to three over two, three seconds all squared. Three squared is nine, 9 times 3 is 27, so this is going to be 27 over 2 meters per second. So this right here represents the initial velocity in the x direction. But we are required to calculate r. And for us to calculate r, we need to know the time of flight. We need to know the time of flight. So we know that the initial velocity in the x direction is 27 over 2 meters per second. In order for us to calculate r, remember r is an x distance. And r, the, 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 the journey starts running from the origin O. So we're going to divide the motion into two parts. Part 1 is the motion from here to here. This is part one, and part two is the motion from here to here. This simply is part two. Now for part two, we are gonna assume that our origin is right there. If we take our origin to be at this point, it means that initially Tommy is at a certain height, h above the ground. We naturally know that y is equal to h minus one half g, t squared. When Johnny hits the pawn, what happens is that y is equal to zero. In that case, h will be equal to one half g t squared, which means that t is equal to the square root of two h over g. What is h? h is 20 multiplied by two divided by 10. So this would mean that t is equal to 2 seconds. The time for Johnny to fall to the lake, it takes 2 seconds for Johnny to what? To lift up the cliff and hit, hit the surface of the water. So this would mean that r is equal to vt, which is going to be equal to 27 divided by 2 meters per second multiplied by two seconds. The two cancel the two and r is equal to 27 meters. And that is the distance from the foot of the cliff to where John hits the lake. This is just a beautiful problem. If you have any questions, please endeavor to ask in the discussion forum. Um, I will be able to help you further uh, with your inquiries on there. Thank you and uh, remain blessed.